I just want to show you the amount of worms that are dead all over the ground. And upper Leilani, another one. I haven't found one live worm. So the acid rain isn't very good for worms. Another one right here. And here's another couple of dead worms. So, yeah, hmm, this isn't looking good, oh my goodness, there's, every puddle has dead worms in it, dead worms, that's kind of scary, acid rain and dead worms. Aloha everybody, I just wanted to show you some of the ferns that are dying, it's funny how some plants are affected by the acid rain and some aren't affected. Kukui nut, state tree, doesn't seem to be affected, this is the Vai state tree, Kukui nut, and the acid rain is from Fisher 8 is emitting a lot of SO2. Here's another dead worm. A lot of puddles and dead worms. It's been raining a lot. Uh, it's a little too much. <laughs> uh, at first I was like, yeah, this is good because we don't want to have brush fires. And we don't want to have, you know, any problems because of the you know, forest that's behind my property and then the SO2 is killing all the plants so there might be a fire. So that's not good. But there's a little bit too much rain going on right now. You can see there's just a bunch of dead worms. They don't like the acid rain. So I just want to show you guys that a little update on What's happening at uh, Upper Leilani? I'm Upper Leilani right now, and it's eight o'clock in the morning. So I just wanted to show you guys that some plants are affected, some plants aren't. It's kind of interesting. I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. Thank you for the like. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the share, and until next time, aloha.